Well, it is now 5.30 in the morning. They start unloading at 6, so we're going to be ready for them. They're actually already up and running. There's a forklift driver right now. Oh, that's one of their trucks. already somebody getting loaded and unloaded right here we still have to untarp and roll up our tarps do you have to go out fat butts all right let's do this oh my god it's south georgia hot shot I don't know best place to drag these things to to fold them up. I mean, we might be able to sneak them over here. Looks like they're six o'clock load and unload times for the employees. <laughs> All right, 709, two pallets left. So I was looking through the reviews on our next pickup. Uh, it's a coil place in Calvert, Alabama. Uh, they've got 2.7 stars. Um, it doesn't look good. First review says, uh, Truck driver, try to avoid this place or you will have to wait a couple hours. They are working very slow. Next one says, this place is an absolute joke. Been here three hours now. Still have eight trucks in front of me. Would not recommend coming here unless you like waiting. Like, they're all like that. The best reviews were from uh, about two years ago when I guess the place had its shit together. Let's see, how old are these other reviews? Five months, four months. Let's see the newest. A day ago, five stars. Guy says, nice place. Toxic office, huh? Some other guy gave it five stars, two stars. Four months ago, guy says, hopefully you're delivering fire brick because that takes long enough. Loading coils or skid. Thank you. Good to go. Yeah, yeah. We're out of here. All right, so it looks like about 30 minutes to our next. I'm gonna make a wide turn and come back that way, Beb, so if you could tell me if I got cars coming that way. Hello? Yeah, I don't, I don't see any right now. Okay. I couldn't see because like we hadn't cleared that fucking truck right there. Ran into a subscriber here, I didn't get his name. He was in a hurry, just like everybody else's. Says he watches the videos. All right. Yeah. I thought it was going to be an issue getting unloaded here. But not bad at all. So, all right. We'll see you guys there.
So we punched in the address to Garmin and a different city pulled up, but it looked like it was close enough to Garmin's uh, or to uh, Google's. Uh, we ended up going there and it was a coil plant as well, but it didn't have this name. So we ended up going by Google. Google took us to a different place. It's got the name that's on the Raycon. Still not sure if we're in the right spot, though. No. Oh. oh, man, the truck ride's really smooth now with the new tires. It's uh, it's definitely pleasant, more pleasant ride. Hot fat butts. So Lita just ran in. Hopefully we're at the right place. Mason said that we have a 10 o'clock appointment. Here comes Lita. Fat butts, you gotta get down, babies. Mama's coming. Guess what? We should have been over there. That other side. Oh, great. So we yeah. were at the right place? Yep. We should have just fucking asked over there, dude. It's a completely different city, though. She's like, you don't pick up coils over here. You pick up coils on the AMS side. <sighs> <laughs> then why, when we call them, do they tell dude, us to come over here? Well, it seems we were in the right place the first time. So, but it was a different name. So Lita called the number on the Raycon, and then there's a recording that tells you how to get to this place that we're at right now. That's the wrong address. So, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. I was telling them how much smoother the truck rides. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was like a brand new truck. Now we'll get back to that other place. Uh, the Garmin, well. I got the fucking oil on this. Nope. Because there's oil and shit on this rag. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's turn around. We'll see you there. Alright. So, they're ready for us already. But they don't allow passengers here. Your uh, your passenger has to have a CDL. Oh, Robert, tell Lita to get her CDL. I really wish you guys would stop talking about Lita getting a CDL. I've, I've said this time and time again. Lita does not want to get her CDL. I don't want to pressure her into getting her CDL. She has enough work with keeping up with paperwork, with the business, and dealing with Raycons and all that other mess that I'm okay with that. She's not a deadbeat. She's not sitting at home. She helps me strap and tarp. I'm okay with it. All shipments must use this lane only. So we have to pull up here on a scale. Light's gonna turn green. Here, I'll swap it, swap it around for you. We wait till it's green, then we pull up, and then we have to stick a slip in, inside this box here. She said I can tarp it in the, uh, where we were just sitting, since Lita's out here.
So we'll pull up here. This thing will turn red. I'm gonna flip this thing around. like we're 34,160, 180. It's not taking it for some reason. Take weight of it. She said, Oh my God, this thing is not working. Let's see if I can pull it up. Yes. She said upside down, but it's not working. Take way ticket. Okay. Guess it's working now. Alright, so evidently, that thing was supposed to spit out a scale ticket for me. Uh, she didn't tell me it was going to spit out a scale ticket. I figured with this little thing, it was all digital now. So, now we have to back out of here and go back and get a scale ticket. Uh, all for a 20,000 pound coil. It's like, just put the coil on me. I know I can do 20,000 pounds. This is crazy. These places act like you pick up here every day and you know. She, the woman in the office just told me to scan that ticket into the machine and the light would turn green. The light turned green. Uh, always, always something. Try this again. God dang it. I 
gotta be honest though, sometimes when people are talking to me, especially about like directions and stuff, my whole brain just kind of gla glazes over. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just in a hurry. I hate when Lita and the dogs have to wait outside of the truck. I mean, it says it's 83 degrees outside, which isn't too bad, but I get in a hurry. All right, she said when I go to leave out, I can do the outbound scale and weigh it there. Uh, I forgot, I meant to close her door. Son of a gun. Yeah, I figured when I stuck that thing in there, it tied that weight to that ticket. Otherwise, what's the point of the ticket? Know what I mean? Know what I mean, Burn? They put these stop signs so close together, you can't fit between the tracks. That's a bummer. Non CDL hot shouter. All right, let me get this scale ticket. We'll get back to you guys. All right, we got our ticket. It dang sure didn't do that on that first one. I wonder if it was out of paper. So we got our weight ticket now. They got a nice little roundabout or a rotary is what Lita calls it. So now we can just double around and go back go back to that building. Ugh. It's getting warm. So they want you in pants, long sleeve shirt, they want you to have all your PPE on when you walk up to the office um, to give you your paperwork, to prove that you have your PPE. I mean, I guess there's guys that don't have it. I just don't understand like the whole long sleeve shirt thing. Or the pants, honestly. Some places allow you to wear shorts, some places don't. Some places allow you to wear long sleeves, some places don't. I, I don't understand why there's such a big difference in. It's like, I'll sign a piece of paper saying if I get hurt, it's my problem. Which to be honest with you, if you get hurt at a place like this anyways, it's, it's probably on you anyways. I can understand if you're an employee here and you're under their insurance, but it's like, I have my own insurance and I know you guys aren't responsible for my safety. I don't think we're allowed on the deck here either, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get on the deck and chain this thing down. Back at the railroad tracks. Looks like they have trains that come in and out of these buildings, maybe. This is a massive place. And I think it's shared by a couple of different companies, depending on who you're picking up for. Like, the company I'm picking up for has their own specific scales. So, it's just a massive, 
massive industrial park. So we gotta keep this coil forward a little bit more than what we would normally do um, with a coil so we can fit them uh, crates on that are going to uh, Oil City, Pennsylvania. This is going to uh, Murray, Ohio, I think. M-U-R-A-Y, I believe. And then the other one, the, the two crates are going to Oil City, so. This, uh, the Oil City one says we can drop it on Saturday, so we might go ahead and shoot over there and try to drop it on Saturday. I think Mason said 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. We can drop that, and then, uh, hmm. we'll probably have to stay in Oil City then in order to start my 34 uh, clock, which I mean, we just started for the week, but I would hate for it to screw me come next week if I run out of hours. So what we'll probably do is just shoot over to Oil City. Depending on how early we get there. Maybe we'll have time, because the uh, Ohio is only like 60, 60 minutes away. I'm going to have to set up my dunnage and everything here before we pull into the building. And then uh, we'll get this thing loaded up. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, excuse me, fat butts. Grab my phone here. All right, we're strapped down, chained down, tarped up. So now we gotta go to pick up another partial. This next one will go to Oil City. Mason's got us a load for Monday picking up in Ohio, going back to North Carolina. So, whoo, nice aerodynamic. I thought about running these, uh, straps underneath the tarp but it was too late we already tarped it and then I was kind of glad I didn't because I like using these ratchet binders 
and uh, just the tarps flapping on these things will just completely shred your tarp so yeah I could wrap a blanket around it but I don't know it is what it is it should be all right like this so all right let's hit the road All right, pick up number two is these yellow boxes right here. Man, we might be able to throw something else on this thing. For real though. All right, let me get you guys set up. They want the tarp too, so that's kind of weird. All right, load number two. Um, we may go weigh this and see if we can throw something else on the top deck. I think we should probably weigh it anyways. What do you think? Yeah, we should probably weigh it anyways. And then if we still have a decent amount of weight, we've still got like 10 feet up there, plus some more if I could use my load leveler and kind of push it out towards the foil. I was afraid to pull this too tight up to that and put too much weight toward my drives because I don't know exactly what this weighs. They said 12, they said 12,000, this guy said 9,000. I'm hoping it's 9,000. That would leave us with uh, like 11,000 we could do. But could we do 11,000 on the drives? That would be the thing. Definitely not if I slid that forward. So, lead is tightening down that last strap. We just gotta find our way out of here. Last time we were here, we were with Nate and they wouldn't allow Nate in because he was under the age of 18. So he had to wait at this place down the road uh, where you have to wait before they call you up to the scale. He stayed with the doggies while me and you loaded, huh? Yeah, we were in that one. We went, yeah, we went down. I think we went to the right and loaded in there. I mean, they loaded pretty quick. If I remember right, I don't think Nate was out too long. I don't know, it's hot. I gotta get this long sleeve shirt off. Oh, it's disgusting. Hopefully we can go down there turn around where that FedEx truck just turned around at. We'll have to see, huh? All right. Look, how am I supposed to get off this scale with this truck parked here? Yeah. There's no way I can, I'm gonna have to back off to the scale. Got about a thousand miles on these tires and I already got one separating. 